Another dystocia that we often identify in our cattle would be what we call the true breech uh, presentation of this calf. So it's a posterior presentation, but the position is not correct in that the hind limbs are forward near the calf's head, and the only thing presented to the birth canal is the hind end or the, the butt of the calf entering into the birth canal. Many of these cows actually do not have strong uterine contractions or abdominal contractions because there's not a lot of bulk in the birth canal, so they're not forced to have strong abdominal contractions. And many times the first, time, the first thing that the producer identifies is the tail of the calf that is exiting and is beyond the vulva lips of the cow. And so we as practicing bovine veterinarians, if we get a call for that, we pretty much know right away if only the tail of the calf is presented out of the vulva lips that we're dealing with a true breach where the butt end of the calf is in, in trying to enter the birth canal, but it's not able to because its size won't allow it to completely enter the birth canal. In those positions, those situations, we have to bring both hind limbs into the birth canal to deliver it in a posterior presentation method. Since we know we can deliver calves in a posterior presentation, we just need to correct the limbs and bring them forward into the birth canal. Some people may actually turn this calf completely around and deliver it in an anterior presentation, but it's not necessary since we know that a posterior presentation delivery can occur in our cattle. Another important fact that typically goes along with just the tail being presented at the vulva lips for these cows, if they have a true breach, in my experience, the majority of the time, it is because there's twins involved. So there's two calves trying to be delivered, and one calf gets pushed into the birth canal first by the force of the uterus and the space of the other calf, and it gets pushed into the birth canal in an odd presentation. So my first thought, actually, when I approach these dystocias is that there's probably going to be two calves involved in this situation.